Competence Assessment for Money Service Operators The Customs and Excise Department, CNDD, commenced the implementation of Competence Assessment, Assessment for Money Service Operators, MSOs, in 2021. This video will briefly introduce the background, requirements, and various criteria, etc. regarding the assessment so that existing licensees or persons who intend to apply for an MSO license can better prepare for the assessment. Senior Management Oversight is a key component of AML CFT systems for the MSOs to effectively manage the risks of money laundering, terrorist financing, and financing of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction arising from the money service business. The assessment aims at ensuring that the senior management of an MSO has clear understanding of risks to which it is exposed and is capable of implementing effective AML CFT systems to adequately manage the risks identified so as to meet the statutory and regulatory obligations. The assessment will uplift the overall compliance level of the industry to further safeguard the integrity of Hong Kong's AML CFT regime, as well as to ensure that the MSO industry meets the international standards set by the leading AML CFT organizations, for example, the Financial Action Task Force. Under the Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorist Financing Ordinance AMLO, the Commissioner of Customs and Excise may grant or renew an MSO license to an applicant or a licensee only if the Commissioner is satisfied that the sole proprietor, each partner, or each director, and the ultimate owner of the applicant or licensee is a fit and proper person to be associated with the business of operating a money service. To provide greater clarity to applicants and licensees about the criteria for determining the fitness and propriety of a person, the CNED promulgated the Guideline on Criteria for Determining Fitness and Propriety FNP Guideline, and the Supplementary FNP Guideline. These guidelines provide the matters and examples that the CCE considers relevant in determining the FNP status of a person to be associated with operating a money service. Among others, the supplementary FNP guideline specifies that the person is generally expected to be able to display an understanding of the statutory and regulatory requirements that apply to the business. To tie in with the implementation of the assessment, the licensing guide provides that at least one member of the senior management must pass the assessment. The assessment result will be one of the factors that the commissioner will have regard to in considering the grant or renewal of an MSO license. A licensed applicant or a licensee should note that failing to attend or pass the assessment may result in refusal of the license application or revocation of the license. For the persons who are eligible to attend the assessment, he or she must be the senior management of the licensed applicant or licensee. Second, must have a direct involvement in making decision on company policy and governance arrangement. And third, must be held accountable in the compliance functions of the company. For the MSO license applicant or licensee who is a natural person, the senior management means the sole proprietor or partners in the partnership. For the MSO license applicant or licensee who is a legal person, such as a corporation, the senior management means the sole director of the corporation or the individual directors who must be natural persons of the corporation. Please note that not more than three eligible persons can be nominated to participate in the assessment. The assessment is conducted on a company basis. Therefore, the eligible persons of the same company must attend the same session of the assessment in all circumstances. As the case may be, a licensed applicant or a licensee could nominate eligible persons to attend the assessment for once and only under the following three situations. When a new license application is filed. When a license is due to expire within 90 days and the licensee has no eligible person who has passed the assessment. And upon notification by a licensee of the deletion of the only eligible person who has passed the assessment. The assessment comprises 35 multiple choice questions. Candidates are required to complete the assessment in one hour and 15 minutes. The assessment is composed of seven modules related to AML CFT knowledge, and each module consists of five multiple choice questions. To obtain a pass in the assessment, the candidate must not make more than two mistakes in each module 
and should attain a total score of 25 or above for the entire assessment paper. The seven modules are 1. General Knowledge on AML, CFT, and Counterproliferation Financing 2. Part 1-7 to seven of the AMLO 3. Schedules to the AMLO 4. Guidelines promulgated by the CNED and MSO's systems and controls, which include 5. Institutional governance and strategy 6. AML CFT control areas and 7. Demonstrating and monitoring compliance All the questions of the assessment are mainly based on publicly available materials. They are 1. Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorist Financing Ordinance CAP 615 2. Guideline on AML CFT for MSOs promulgated by the CNED 3. Licensing Guide and Other Guidelines and Circulars issued by the CNED to MSOs All of the above mentioned materials are available at the website of the Money Service Operators Licensing System Here we are going to talk about the general schedule of the assessment under the following circumstances for a new license application, eligible persons shall attend the assessment within 30 days upon attending the interview with the CNED officers. With regard to the renewal application, the eligible persons of the licensee shall attend the assessment within 30 days upon the issue of reminder letter. The reminder letter would be delivered to each licensee 90 days before the expiry of the license. When the licensee no longer has at least one member of the senior management, that is, partner or director, who passed the assessment, the validity of this company-based qualification will be void automatically. Under such circumstance, the licensee will be required to arrange for eligible persons to take the assessment within 30 days upon notification to the CNED of change in partnership or directorship. If the license is due for renewal within 180 days, the assessment arrangement will follow the procedures of the application for license renewal. Candidates should present the following documents and papers for inspection when attending the assessment. 1. Hong Kong Identity Card or an alternative identification document with photo, for example, valid travel documents. 2. Authorization letter, that is only for the partnership company and corporation. And 3. Assessment invitation letter. Any candidate who is unable to present the above documents will not be allowed to attend the assessment as scheduled. Candidates are advised to carefully inspect their identification documents before attending the assessment. The assessment is implemented in two phases. 1. The assessment is applicable to all applications for grant of an MSO license, that is, those made in Form 1, submitted to CNED on or after 1st of June 2021. 2. The assessment is applicable to all applications for renewal of an MSO license, that is those made in Form 2, submitted to CNED on or after 1st of July 2022. In order to facilitate applicants and licensees better preparation for the assessment, guidance notes on the competence assessment for money service operators is published by the CNED in March 2021. All MSO license applicants and licensees are strongly advised to read the guidance notes which provide in detail the requirements, format, and scope of the assessment, and to make the necessary arrangement and preparation for the assessment in advance. Besides, the CNED compiled a set of sample questions for reference by the licensed applicants and licensees so that they can fully grasp the mode and scope of the assessment. They are all available at the website of the Money Service Operators Licensing System. Candidates will only be notified of the results, that is, pass or fail, by email only within 14 days after the assessment. Please keep this notification as a certification of the assessment result in any future event. Candidates who are not satisfied with their assessment results may, within seven days after the date of issuance of the result notification, submit written request to the Licensing Control Division for rechecking. The answer sheet will be rechecked for technical errors such as incorrect mark entries and data inconsistencies. Candidates will be informed of the results subsequently. 
In situations such as natural or man-made disasters, wars, or epidemics, overseas licensed applicants may have difficulties to come to Hong Kong for taking the assessment in person. Please contact your case officer as soon as practicable for C and E D to make necessary administrative arrangements. The invitation to the assessment does not imply that a candidate has fully met the licensing requirements, as the vetting process is still in progress. Applicants or licensees who do not meet the licensing requirements will not be further considered, irrespective of their assessment results. Where changes to the assessment arrangements are required by C and E D. Candidates will be informed by email before the assessment as soon as practicable. In case of any dispute, the decision made by the CNED shall be final and conclusive. As regards the facilitating arrangements of assessment available for persons with disabilities, candidates may contact the CNED for inquiries. The above presentation only summarizes, in general, the latest arrangement of the assessment for the grant or renewal of MSO license. For requirements and regulation in relation to MSO license, applicants or licensees are advised to refer to the concerned guidelines, information on regulatory regime, and circulars available at the CNED website. Inquiries can be sent to the departmental email address msoinquiry@customs.gov.hk.